Hello nail friends, this is Honey Doll Nails back again with another video. Shop with me, Duo Gel Polish DND slash DC. Before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that you may be notified of all future videos. Hello nail friends, how are you? Please forgive me, this video is way long overdue. I did some shopping in February on this site called DTKNailSupply.com. I'm gonna repeat that, DTKNailSupply.com. Link down below in the box. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, we finally made it here. Let's get some polish. Before you get started with anything, do not forget to make you an account. Put your name in, put your Gmail in. The link is down in the box below. Stop this video right now and go down in the box below. Click that link, go onto the website and then come back to this video. Let's start shopping. Now, when I started shopping on this website, in the beginning, the prices were cheaper, but right now they're about 50 cents to a dollar's more. But that doesn't matter because as you can see, you can get the latest polishes for like half off. Still applies, okay? You can get anything from OPI, Kara Sky, s and &S, yes, I said s and &S, Gelish, LDS, and so much more. One thing I like about this website is that it is wholesale. So I just wanna give a shout out to my girl, Adia from East Orange, New Jersey. She was the one that turned me on to this site. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Right now you can see that there are many different polishes of the same shade. There's nothing wrong with that because sometimes your client might want a shade darker or a shade lighter. And if you don't know how to mix your pigments, that could be a mess. So if you want to, this website provides you with every single color. So if you want to buy every color that I'm about to show you right now, they have a package at the bottom. So scroll all the way to the very, very bottom. And they have different packages that you can purchase. If you want to purchase 80, 100 polishes or more, you can. So now let me slow down. The little hearts that you see is what you click and it will go in to your wish list. And I'm gonna show you a little later on how you get to your wish list and how you check out and all that type of stuff. But right now, let's just lavish ourselves in how beautiful these polishes are. Original prices at the time that I did this video was $10.50 slash to $5 and 50 cents. I think these polishes now are $6 and D&D polishes, as you can see with the white, and then D&C polishes are gold bottles. They were $6.50, I think now they're $7. So still that's not bad because it's still half off. With the economy going up, of course, everything else is gonna go up too. So now I wanted to show you where I get my polishes from because some of you have been asking me that through the chat, like where did I get my polishes from and where could you find polishes that were cheaper than the average. Sometimes even when you go onto eBay, you're not gonna get this price. You're not gonna get this price if you go onto amazon.com. I'm just keeping it real with you, okay? So you definitely want to Grab your credit card, start shopping, because this is the site. Now, you can go on to regular, let's see, Daisy Nail Lacquer site, you can. You're still not gonna get this price. DTKNailSupply.com. You can't beat it. You can't beat these prices, you can't. So now, Beautiful, beautiful colors. You have to agree. Now they have jellies, cat eyes. Okay, they have opaques, they have glitters, they have shimmers. So they have lots of different nail polishes and colors to choose from. 
Okay, now listen, we're gonna keep scrolling. The polishes never end and the colors are just so beautiful, especially now for spring. Now you're asking me, how long does it take this stuff to come in the mail? Guess what? Only takes four or five days. Where I live here in North Carolina, I made my order one day. Within a couple of days, they had already sent me some information saying my product was on the way. The product came so fast. As a matter of fact, it came regular mail. It came very, very fast. It was wrapped perfectly. None of my polishes spilled. None of my polishes were broken. None of that. Because a lot of times you order from some companies and when you get your stuff, it's all messed up. Shipping, not a problem. Just paid a couple of extra dollars for shipping. That was nothing. That was nothing at all. I think I paid $56. And I think I might have gotten six or seven polishes. When it comes down to a duo, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Look at these, look at these beautiful colors. I'm sure that you can go onto this website and find something for yourself, something for your client. Now, when I shopped this time, I shopped for myself. So the policies that I'm gonna show you that I purchased and the swatches that I did were the ones that I purchased for my own personal collection of polishes. I had given away so much polish over the summer because no matter where you get your polishes from, if you're not using them, they will settle and separate. Especially when it comes down to regular lacquer. Okay, you can see the mixture in the bottle, whatever they mixed it with if you're not using the polishes. So if I buy polishes this summer, let's just say that, if I haven't used one or two of those polishes by next summer, I'm giving those polishes away. I will not keep old polish sitting on the shelf. I can't stand to see that. With these polishes, you're going to be using them. Look at this secret plum, this 629. That is so pretty. Look how lush it looks. Look how creamy it looks. And when you get your polishes, they look just like they look here on the website. I don't know if they do any photoshopping or not, but when I receive my polishes, they look exactly like they look on this website. So now let me say it again. Make yourself an account. Save it. All right, in your bookmarks category so you can get back to it easy. Now, what you can do is if I have some clients that I really, really like, I will let them sit and watch me shop for polish and they can pick out their own polish. At least I know what to get them for Christmas or the birthdays and stuff like that. Pick out your own polish, girl. You have been tipping me hundreds of dollars for I don't know how many years. I surely can get you some polish. I will get four and five bottles of polish for my client without a problem, especially when it comes down to a site like this because you're really not losing anything. If you go on to Amazon, you're gonna pay 10 to $12 for these duo sets. We're not even talking about OPI. Now, nail techs out there that have been in the game for a while, no OPI is, I would say, one of the most expensive polishes that you can buy. Jellish is too. But on this site, you're gonna get it half off. Look at these Christmas colors, come on. We can order some of this stuff before Christmas gets here, right? Definitely, definitely. I will start ordering in October. Yep, look at this, this is so beautiful. This amethyst sparkles. Now, they do have some polishes now that will change colors depending on the weather, depending on cold and hot. So they do have that too. This is pretty, warming rose and sweet nothing. So these are the ones that will change colors they will go from a light to a dark. Georgia peach, champagne sparkles, fudge sickle. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I'm into dark toenail polish for this summer. I don't know about you, but I'm just trying to change it up. Normally, 
My favorite color is a fuchsia or a hot pink or some type of bright yellow or green. But I wanted to do something that was a little different um, this summer. So uh, I went with a darker polish for my toenails this year. Just want to do something different. I'm getting older. It's okay sometimes, but for me, I have been using the same polishes on my feet. I can't tell you how long. So I'm like, yeah, I definitely want to change that up. These colors are gorgeous. Now, we haven't even gotten to the gold bottles yet. We're just at the white bottles. So over to the right, you see there is a chat with us. Now there was a polish that I wanted and it was called black licorice. They didn't have it. And I should have put in the chat cause I do still have some of it left over the bottle number. So the bottle number is very important. If you're looking for a bottle number and you don't see it, you put it in the chat box below and somebody will um, exactly tell you where to find it at or send you an email or something direct you directly to it sometimes they change the numbers on these things or sometimes there's there's not any uh, name to the polish it's just a number okay like this 806 that you see it's just a number it doesn't have a name Okay, so now you see what I'm talking about with the kits, okay? So when I first started um, doing nails with this product, I bought like four different kits. I think I bought all these four kits, I did, because I wanted to see what they were going to be about. I didn't know too much about duos, but everybody doesn't like gel, okay? Let's just keep that straight. Everybody does not like gel, okay? so. You can see the price ranges. All right, now we're coming on down and then they have the, the 30 set, the 32 set, the 26 set. Okay, you see the prices are going up now, but it also comes with a color swatch. So with the color swatch, those are all the colors that you're gonna be getting in the set. Okay, so now we move on down. And as you can see, there's 32, there's 34, there's 35. Then you have the 350. I think that's every color that they have, if I'm not mistaken. No, yeah, that's every color that they have, the 350. Okay, and then you have uh, the 280. Saving you $1,000. Now, my thing is, if you're not trying to know these polishes enough, you're gonna be wasting your product and your product's gonna settle on the shelf, so. Like I said, look at all the different brands that you can get. All right, so let's go to DNDDC. Look, gold bottles. So we just left DC. Now we're going to the new gold bottles that they have. Now what's the difference? One is gold, one is white. I didn't see any difference. I didn't see any difference with the product. I didn't see any difference with the creaminess. Nothing like that. Nothing at all. Now, as far as the colors are concerned, the colors might be brighter. Okay, the colors might have more variance. So it's, it's up to you whether you like the gold bottle versus the white bottle. Some salons want all gold, some salons want gold and white. For me, I like both because some colors came in the gold bottles, some colors came in the white. Look at this Pittsburgh blue, that is so beautiful. So I'm gonna click that and that's gonna go on my wish list as well. Look at this aqua blue, Caribbean Island. Nile green, mint green. I do have that mint green. That's such a beautiful color. Dublin green, tear pink, mahogany, fire brick, sandy brown. These colors are gorgeous. Red cherry, smoky yard, white bunny, black ocean. So they had the black ocean, but they did not have black licorice and black licorice was a white bottle, not a gold bottle. I didn't have that either. So I was like, oh wow. 
But it just slipped my mind that I really should have went, you know, inside the chat box. <laughs> and put the number in and asked about it, right? Crimson. Look at this crimson pink. These pinks are gorgeous. And then, of course, they have a numerous amount of mauve polishes that we're about to get to right now. Mauves and browns. Or as we like to call them, flesh tones. Okay, so these were 50 cents more than the original um, other bottles that we looked at. I don't know if you paid attention to the prices of that or not. Summer Fiji. I have that color. Yeah, that, that's a nice color. It's like a grayish blue. Good color. Tiger stripes, light apricot, apple cider, flaxseed oil, pink lady. I have pink lady. That's a good one too. Caribbean blue, beautiful, deep chestnut, white magenta. That's pretty. Now, if you are going onto the site now, they have um, a new product on there right now. I think I'll do a review of that probably in a couple of days because I do want to uh, try out their uh, powder dips, their SKS for natural nail care. I wanna do a review on that. The pink salt is nice, and the lamber pink is nice. Their packaging is beautiful, I have to say. Shine bright. That looks like a jelly. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Look at this puzzled purple. It's 261. Just gorgeous. So I would just like to thank everyone that has supported me throughout the year, even though this is a new year that we have embarked on now. Just want to thank everyone that supported my channels, including YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, and my TikTok page. Thank you so much. I try to bring you quality videos to the best of my ability. I am not really good at taking pictures or doing video content, but I do my best. So I just want to encourage any one of you, sir, ma'am, if you were thinking about going into the nail business and making it your marketing strategy to do videos, make sure that you have a really good computer. I paid almost $1,000 for my computer and it's just a laptop that I use. So I don't use anything major. I have a few ring lights and uh, a good table and uh, of course a creative mind that God gave me so I just try to share uh, my inspiration with the nail world and I like to show my appreciation I will be having a giveaway in a couple of months so be sure to be looking out for that okay so finally we finally made it down to the bottom with the starter kits so I ordered a couple of these starter kits too. I think in all I paid close to $400 for polish when I first started using D&D uh, &D DC. And any polishes that my clients didn't like or that I wasn't using, I just gave them away. Had no problem doing it at all because you don't wanna keep this stuff sitting around. If you're not using it, that's not a good color. Your clients don't want that. Hey, that's okay. You win some, you lose some. All right, so now I'm gonna go to my wish list and I'm gonna show you the polishes that I put on my wish list. And it's right up here at the corner. There are 36 polishes. So now we filtered it out because there's so many polishes, it's kind of overwhelming. 
So I just filtered out the ones that caught my eye. So like I said, these are the ones that I wanna get for myself. Now I love this cherry pie and the icon. I definitely wanna get that for the fall. Right now I wanna show you how you check out. So you hit your little um, button on the side here with the card and you check out. And of course the taxes and everything will be calculated when you check out and they have an array of ways that you can pay or just use your regular credit card, Visa, MasterCard, whatever, they take all that too. All right, I just took that out of my cart because I just want you to see what we're dealing with here. All right, so I really like the polishes that I put on my wish list. Look at this blue and this Canadian maple. That Those two colors look really, really good for like the 4th of July. That's another reason why I put them together because while I'm doing it, I'm thinking about, okay, now what would I use that color for? How can I sell this color to my client when they come in next week or... You know, I got some new clients that's coming next month. I want to make sure that, being that I know what type of style they like, I want to make sure that I have colors in my salon that matches that. Very seldom will I get it wrong when it comes down to polishes that catches my client's eye because you want to do some type of, you know, consultation with your client. You ask them what they don't like. Don't ask them what they like. You ask them what they don't like. And they'll let you know. Listen, I don't like green. Or I don't like red. I could deal with anything but red. So now you know that no matter what you do, you don't bring up no type of art that you've done that's got red in it. You try to steer away from that. Because if they, if they see that you're paying attention to them, then they'll definitely come back again. So these are the polishes that I purchased. Okay, you can look at this list and see. Um, there were seven polishes here. What are some blues and reds and mauve, hot pink, and this eggplant is blue. Now, I ordered it three days before February 8th, and as you can see already, the order was on the way. All right, so now I'm getting ready to do our swatches and I'm getting ready to show you what the polishes look like because they've come in the mail. They, as, Like I said before, they came regular um, through the post office. So regular mail, it was in my mailbox. So this is what a duo means. It means that you get both regular polish and gel. So I swatched before time to save time because this video is pretty lengthy. But here we have the beautiful deep pink 006 Daisy D&D DC gold bottles. And exactly how it looks in the bottle as you can see, is exactly how it looked on the nail. So with each and every polish, I'm just gonna take my time and open each one so you can see how creamy or how thick, how opaque, or how jelly it is. And as you can see, this is a nice creamy one. Beautiful. Let you see it again. Looks exactly like it looks in a bottle. I hate to get polished and it doesn't look like it looks on the bottle. And these are all gels. I, I swatched the gels to save time so it will be a little faster. Okay, so here we have Angel Haven. I used to have a lipstick this color that I used to wear when I was in high school. So when I saw this color, I could not resist it. Isn't it beautiful? It's like a pinkish purple. I love it. I love it. 
All right, and this is a white bottle. So that's what I mean by the white bottles and the gold bottles, okay? Now I will say, when I opened up the gel, on this particular polish, the gel was extremely thick, but the polish was not, the regular lacquer was not. But the gel was very thick. And that's why a lot of times, how, why you have spillage, like it will seep over the side. So I would suggest every time that you use this particular polish, it's 501, that you wipe around the rim before you put the top back on. That's just my suggestion. You don't have to do that, but that will save a lot of stickiness because gel is very sticky. Okay, next we have 605, the dovetail, the mauve. Oh, it was so pretty. It was, it had a little bit of purple tint to it and then of course a little brown, but of course some pink too. It was very, very pretty. This color was very creamy with the gel and the lacquer itself was the same consistency. Six oh five. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. Now, I just want to say I am very pleased with all of the polishes that I chose. And like I said, these polishes are for myself, for my own personal use. Now, if my clients want to use my polish, of course they can. Um, but I just loved shopping on the site and all the polishes that you're seeing today, I will be using on myself this summer. So this is Fresh Eggplant. It was a bluish purple. Beautiful, dark, opaque color. I will definitely be using this on my toes. Just really, really, really pretty. It's almost looking black. It's almost looking like an eggplant. <laughs> what can I say? It's, that's what it is. Fresh eggplant, very pretty. The consistency was the same and the gel and the lacquer. All right, next we have Tropical Teal. And this makes the second time I bought this. The first time I bought it, you gotta be careful with this polish because it's just like uh, the purple polish that I showed you earlier. The gel itself is very thick and I had a lot of spillage with it and that's the reason why I had to throw it away. So I never got to use it all. But I still have the lacquer sitting on my dresser. Of course I do. So I decided to buy a new one for the gel. But look how creamy that is. Yes. So it's another one of those polishes where I would recommend that you wipe the gel rim off before you put the top on. Make sure you screw it on extremely tight. That's one of the negative things that I don't like about Dandy is that it seeps, it spills because it catches itself inside the top. And this polish was good, but as you can see, if you put it on too thick, it will run into the cuticle. So that's what I was showing you there. It's a jelly. As you can see, you can see right through it. The more you polish it, you can still see through it unless you put white on first and then put that on top. But you can see right through it 
You see as I'm moving it around that you can see underneath it, that's what makes it a jelly. Now you can mix it with a clear, um, like put a drop of clear top coat down and put a drop of that down, like two drops of top coat, I would say, and then one drop of that, and then it will be a little thinner and it won't be so opaque. But it ran into my cuticles the first try. And after I had made that mistake, because that's a mistake I make a lot on my own nails, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it that way. And when I do this video, I'm gonna have to explain it. So don't y'all come for me, because <laughs> you already know how I am. So this is Ode to Green. This color is so pretty. And the gel and the lacquer are the same. So it's like a silver, it's like a clear, a silver, white, and green specks all together. So it's, it's a Christmassy color. It's also a um, Patty's Day color, if you want that. So it's got little white specks in it too. You see that? I have this on my toes right now. It is really, 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 really pretty. And it looks exactly like it looked on the site. You can see the little white specks in it. So let me encourage you to always be neat, always be professional, keep your bottles clean. After you finish polishing someone's nails, clean your hands, especially when you're dealing with gels because you'll find yourself stuck to your client or stuck to the bottles, which is not good at all. So here I'm just laying everything on the table so you can see what we're working with. Go through the website, take your time, purchase whatever you would like. I can't tell you what to purchase, but I'm just saying, be aware that sometimes <laughs> you're gonna have some seepage. <laughs> okay, so that's the only negative thing about these polishes, otherwise. All right, so next I'm gonna show you um, my full swatches. gonna put them all together and show you them together all at once but these are the polishes again thank you for tuning into this episode of shop with me don't forget to like subscribe and comment and while you're at it hit that notification bell you do not want to miss another video you do not want to miss the giveaway because that's one thing about it with the giveaway you have to be subscribed you have to be notified because you're gonna miss it all these colors were so beautiful. This Aurora Green, which I forgot to tell you the name of, the 747 Aurora Green. Really, really, really pretty. All right, so here are all of the swatches. I just wanted to show them to you one more time. God bless you all. I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Thank you for tuning in to this episode. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment box below. Look us up on Pinterest, Honey Doll Nails. Please don't forget to subscribe to us on Instagram, Honey Doll Nails. Until we meet again, God bless you and have a wonderful day.